my evil brother died with no one to inherit his money but me. I win. My first memories of my brother are of him terrorizing me pinching, slapping, punching, all of it. He was two when I was born. We had no other siblings. We fought and I tried to defend myself, but I was a girl and two years younger, so I never really had a chance when he decided to bully me. I suppose it's not kind of me to assert that he was evil. However, here is some of what he put my family through when he was twelve. He told the guidance counselor at school that he was going to murder us in our sleep. I slept with a baseball bat, and my door locked. He was arrested as a kid for lighting fires and for shoplifting. He was arrested as a teen for burglary and drugs. He stole from others, my parents, and me. He ruined my things whenever he felt like breaking something. He actively sought out drugs to use them he was the peer who did the pressuring. He routinely humiliated me in high school, tripping me or knocking my books out of my hands to show off to his friends. My dad had to defend himself from my brother's fists when my brother was mad. My brother did nothing to contribute to having a happy life or home no chores, and no responsibilities, failed every class, sneaked out all the time, and ran away several times from the age of 14. He beat two different ex-wives. Our family was complicated. Despite everything he did, our mother constantly took his side and got him out of trouble. Over the past couple of years, I've posted about it. If you feel you need more info, you can see my post titled When Your Narc Dies, Will You Mourn? He died at age 60 of complications from diabetes. He refused to take responsibility for caring for it, and never listened to doctors. Everything that uncontrolled diabetes can do, it did to him. He had no children, no parents, and no wife. About a month ago, I found out he died alone in a nursing home. They had his ex-wife's number, and she had him cremated. There is no one to come to a memorial service. Today his ex-wife called me to say that his debts are settled and there is a positive balance in his account. As his last living relative, it's mine. The very last person he would want to end up with even a dime of his money is getting all. Of. It. Insert villainous laugh. At least he left you something useful and you can be free now. Treat yourself and treat your inner child with it. Buy back something he stole or broke. Long, complicated story short, I inherited some money from a relative that everyone hated. We bought an RV with some and squirreled the rest into an emergency fund at a time when our emergency fund was very slim. Best F you is being happy with their money. And I wish you happiness with their money. If the ex was reasonable and helpful in settling his affairs, make sure she gets a small enough gift the IRS doesn't need to get involved but big enough to thank her, if the estate is large enough. That's not a petty revenge, that's a revenge of a lifetime. Congrats. When my estranged evil dad died, I got over $200,000 from the sale of his late mother's house. Didn't even know he was still alive until cops showed up and said that he died the night before. Yay me. You perfectly described my older brother who is two years older than me, sick with diabetes and in prison for his 30th arrest. My brother was always financially supported by our family, and I moved away out of state now I executor of my family estate whose last wishes were for him to receive nothing. Inquiring minds want to know how did someone so dysfunctional end up with any money? My godfather used to say that everyone improves the world some by being in it, some by leaving it. Your brother is firmly the later category. Do a happy dance you're finally free of him. Congrats, you have figured out how the best revenge in the world works, just live a happy life and stop thinking about them and someday, profit from their death. I'm glad you are free of him now. Sorry you had to go through all that, but you are finally free now. First thing to do is have his cremated body spread it to a place he hated the most. I am so sorry you had to go through all this. I understand that his death brings closure, and maybe the money brings some joy, but I am sorry that you had to lose so much. I wish peace to you. My brother was similar, we were the only kids and he will chase me with knives, steal from me, lie, drug, torture tickling and try to humiliate me in front of his friends. 
he was two years older than I. He died from lung cancer two months before our mom died I inherited a modest amount from her estate. Although he finally grew up in his late twenties and apologized for being a POS excuse for a brother, I felt vindicated. She who dies last wins. How much did you get? Don't tell me. $8.37. From Wikipedia psychopathy is a mental health condition characterized by persistent antisocial behavior, impaired empathy and remorse, and bold, disinhibited, and egotistical traits. Different conceptions of psychopathy have been used throughout history that are only partly overlapping and may sometimes be contradictory. So happy for you enjoy the taste of sweet, sweet revenge, and the cash. It's like he paid you compensation for all his evil actions throughout his life party popper. Whoa, reminds me of my brother. The best revenge is living well they say. Or in this case, living at all. Good on you. Dude. OP, this makes me so happy. You are my fucking hero. I had to creep your profile and see if you were one of my relatives, because that reads like what my two oldest cousins went through. Nope I don't have family in your neck of the woods. But damn, I was a little spooked their smiling face with open mouth and cold sweat. That said, sometimes the best petty revenge is simply playing the long game and living well. It was very nice of his ex to handle everything for you and then just hand over the balance to you. When you say positive do you mean like $32.56 aura? Living well is the best revenge. George Herbert. From the sound of this mid, all of it probably isn't more than a couple bucks anyway. Well, I'm not afraid of you anymore because you're dead and I'm not, so I win. Dot and you can suck it. We have similar brothers. Enjoy the money. I'm truly happy for you. What a poetic ending to this lifelong pain. You sound like a thoughtful and intelligent person who has so much to give to the world. Wishing you all the best, and I second the suggestion by other commenters to consider making a donation to an organization that helps battered women, even a small one that would really piss him off. Sucks to be him, on many levels. Those are huge red flags as a teen too so mom should have done something. I probably would have looked past burglary and stealing to an extent because I did it but I wasn't a menace about it. Go have a great trip and enjoy. Think of it as a refund for all the money he stole from you as a kid and your parents. Please tell me it was at least a decent bit and not like a paltry amount money. How much? That's very nice. Get yourself something nice. I assume you already know that whatever is left to you, will never make up for it. Sometimes you gotta play the long con. Way long. The best revenge is a life well lived. Some people just spread misery wherever they go. It seems like the only thing that causes them happiness for some reason. Regardless of the joyful closure you're currently experiencing, don't forget that karma is a real thing and spare a moment to reflect on the sad reality of choosing a life that miserable lonely. You should give it to me and spare yourself the pain of taking the money. If my father wasn't a bit older then I would have said you've perfectly described him. Cirrhosis is what got my dad. Dying was the best thing he's done. Something like this happened with both of my brothers. Two of the most useless, self-centered people on earth. Both somehow managed to own houses. Neither married, had children, or the sense to make a will. Sometimes karma works. Oh come on everyone has sibling Reva. Murder threats, arson, burglary. Oh, oh no. Whatever's left after heroic efforts to keep that subhuman alive, anyway. Hope you get the gumball you had your eye on in the machine. Well him dying blind and footless is pretty fucked up at least. When things like this happen, you're like, maybe there is a god. By something he would hate with the money. Charity to a battered women's shelter?